Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Now, uh, this is going to be tricky, and I may get through this in one video, and I may have to split it up, and I'm not exactly sure how to present this, so I made a list of the things I wanted to hit. I usually don't, but lately I have been a little bit making lists for myself because some of this stuff is getting a little complicated now. So since I'm not preparing speeches, I'm trying to keep what I want close at hand. So, or what I want to do close at hand so I don't go way off. So it's a, it's a jumbled list a little bit. I, uh, I'm going to start a little off of what I was going to do. Because, and again, I'm not picking on anything in particular, but this is one of the things I was going to do, so we're going to hit it first, and we'll see how this list goes. Now, I wanted to compare some of these models, and I, I the other day, I and I'm still seeing it, I'm still hearing it, and, or not hearing it, I'm still reading it I, all over the place, is this you know, you're hearing what you want, you're seeing what you want, and, excuse me, I made a model, all right, of that, and again, I mean, if anybody missed it, and what you want to hear, what you want to see, what you want to happen, leads to whatever you wanted to hear, whatever you wanted to see, and whatever you wanted to happen, so anything you do leads to one outcome point, and that's what you want. All right, that's pretty simple. That's pretty basic. That's what people think, and that's what they got going on. All right. Now, I made another another model in the past, and it's another thing that I hear a lot. Whatever happened was God's will. All right, we've been through this, but we're going to go through it again because now I've got more models. I got more information. That's how science works. So. <sighs> Our God's will model, and nobody can really w w w say any different that I know, because this is how everyone's always told me it works. So you got your free will, and whatever you do leads to the one outcome point of God's will. All right. Looks very similar to this model. We can back it up and get them both. Um, this model says that whatever happened is God's will. This model says whatever happened it was your will, essentially. The two models can't coexist. So either, because again, you got God's will, and God, God's will is God's will. That's what he wants, right? And in this one, you create your own reality, so whatever you wanted was the outcome. So... Basically, if you were making an equation, you'd say, uh, you know, um, this plus this equals, I mean, God's will plus create your own reality. If both of those were true, excuse me, you would be God. Sure, we could be God's. I suppose to a point we are, but I don't think in the literal sense. So these two models have a problem with each other to begin with. Um, so create your own reality. Okay, so we've already, now we've done that. Excuse me, because I wanted to keep this out. All right, because now, and, and we're saying these models are basically the same. All right, that's where we're at. So the Mandela effect plugged into either one of these models means, well, actually, it's different because if you plug it into the, excuse me, the I've got my paste up here going on, but because if you if you plug it into the God's will model then you have, if the Mandela effect must be misremembering because there's only one outcome point and it's what God wanted. And therefore, if you remember something differently, you have misremembered. All right. That's how it works. Now in this model, 
All right, your creation or your you get what you want. One leads to the other. All right. If you plug the Mandela effect into this, you would have either A, misremembering, or B, people seeing, hearing what they wanted and having whatever they wanted to happen happen. And everybody would want something different, so it would be a big fuster cluck, right? And I suppose, I mean, that could be going on, but then you'd have, you guys. All right. Now we're going we're gonna to go with this because it's basically the same. And now we're going to put it up next to the probability wave model. All right. You plug the Mandela effect into this, you got that. If you plug the Mandela effect in here, you could have, and no, remember, four is our infinite number. Four possibility lines is an infinite number of possibility lines, and four outcome points is an infinite outcome points. Four probability waves is an infinite number of probability waves from an infinite number of particles out here on the side. So, basic rundown of that. But if you plug the Mandela effect into here real quickly, we've done this before, you've got a lot of possible solutions. You could have skipped to another reality here. You could have even skipped a probability wave, which would have probably given you slightly more variances in your outcome points. Um, you could have reality bleeds from quantum computing. We've been through this, and I intend to do more on these. Uh, situations um yeah you got solution after solution so this actually makes more sense to me and then now we're going to compare this to this which by the way and this is my cousin's model and i wanted to clarify that this these these are the realities we live in and we're bumping around and these are closer to infinite all right I think he thinks they're not infinite. Um, he thinks the him and I disagree on the uh, double slit experiment. He thinks it's flawed slightly. Um, he's ran it himself, so I should default to him on that. But the reason he thinks it's flawed is because everything is observed, even if it isn't observed is his theory. And that's some math thing. And I don't know that I 100% agree with that or not so again these are closer to infinite you let's say quadrillions or even higher number but he doesn't think they're quite infinite all right uh but they're a very 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 ridiculously high number all right so i've got six on here because of my spatial limitations and then of course 13 or maybe it was 14 dimensions and some of them would be below us because we're, again, fourth dimensional seeing into the third dimensions. That's what these things are. So there would be dimensions below that even in his theory. So here we go again. We got the hear and see what you want. And now we got my quantum physics major cousins model where you have to get up and over to get to these places and they bump around and exchange information. So again, in this model, You've only got your, you know, two possible solutions, either bad memory or people seeing and hearing what they want. In this model, in my cousin's model, you've got these things bouncing into each other already, and that could be causing, that would be causing things. You'd have people quantum calculating into all these other places, and that would cause uh, uh, informational bleeds. That would bleed between the realities and i'm going to explain that on our model a little better maybe in a different video at this point but you 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 could also have john titter status um you know tunneling between these and exchanging information just like you go through as matter as you do uh, lots of solutions for the mandela effect in this model not so many in this model and definitely not in this model, guys. And boy, there's there's still other stuff on this list, and I'm just going to have to cut the video at that, guys. And I'm going to have to make another video. 
that deals with this uh, death thing and information exchange. But we got some of that out of the way. So I'm going to let it go at that, guys. The, um, those are all the models I've made so far. And again, oh, I suppose I should go ahead and compare while we're at it on this video, since we're already there. Uh, these two models. Now, I remember I said this is our infinite probability wave model. All right, guys. You all remember this. Uh, your waves and outcome points and possibility lines, and they're infinite. All right, nothing's necessarily anything but a probability. And here is my cousin's model. Now, ironically, my cousin's model right here could go straight into this, and this could go straight into that. As let's suppose way down here, we got another probability. We've been using this one, we're, we've been saying we're pretty much in this wave, right? here but let's suppose down along the line we have another wave let's suppose in this particular wave gravity is a constant and you are in dimensions that you have to get up and over to get to the next thing and these things do bump around and hit each other in a, in a whole other probability wave maybe we're there so it actually fits in here and likewise in his model any of these bouncing aroundy things that are different realities could in fact be a variance from what he's got going on here in this particular reality. And in saying this reality here, things work exactly like this. It's possible and it's probable these, these two models these particular two fit each other pretty good. And what do you guys think about the other two models? That's where we're at. What do we think about that? I mean, God's will and uh, create your own reality and then your other models. I mean, what do we think, guys? I'm going to let this video go. I've ran it long. It's going to take forever to upload. But I wanted to do that, and I've got another video coming, hopefully right behind it today. Uh, clarifying some of these other points that Alex brought up yesterday in another video and I think it's worthy to clarify some of that and I intended to do it all at once but we're not going to so that's it for now guys um, what the heck you can thumb me up if any of this information was useful and you can go and turn around and thumb me right down if it wasn't <laughs> or you know definitely leave your comments so for now, guys, thanks for all your thumbs up, thumbs down, all your comments, and all your subscriptions, and your help in all this, and I think we've got, got quite a bit accomplished this weekend, uh, me and our viewers, us and our viewers. My fiance has been involved, too. She's not doing as many videos these days. She's started a new job, and she's not quite used to it, and I am used to it So at this time, so I'm better able to do more videos so but she is helping along the way she's definitely helping me organize and bouncing things off of her so that's it for now guys so uh again thanks for everything thanks for watching for now you guys have a great rest of your day and hopefully we'll get back with another video very soon